The Mercedes-Benz E-Class is a compact luxury vehicle manufactured by the German automaker Mercedes-Benz. Today, I'm proudly to present to you the all-new 2017 C300 Coupe, dressed beautifully in the Zigno diamond white metallic with sitting for four passengers. For 2017, the new C Coupe comes in four different trims level, starting out with the C300, C300 formatic Coupe, AMG C63 Coupe, and last, the AMG C63S model. Under the hood, the C300 features a powerful 2-liter inline 4-turbo engine, boasting an impressive 241 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque, which can hit 60 mile power in just 5.9 seconds. That is quite fast and impressive comparing to other vehicles in its class. The new C-Class also features a very slick, sporty, and spacious design that captivates the eye and delights the senses. Its long wheelbase enhances handling, ride comfort, and cabin room, while the extensive use of aluminum makes the body a lightweight on the scale, but a heavy weight in strength. The sculpted long hood, short deck design is at once elegant and athletic, a look that comes to life on any road. The 2017 C300 also comes standard with the new 7G Tronic automatic transmission with shift paddle. The new transmission features a smooth, responsive, and efficient drive that offer the ideal response in virtually every driving situation, from relaxed cruising to quick acceleration. Two overdrive ratio enhance highway fuel efficiency. An electronic selector and shift paddle under the steering wheel let you control all gear changes with your hand on the wheel. Adaptive logic paces automatically shifting to match your driving style. And the shift paddles let you enjoy manual control anytime. Okay, so here I have the sticker to the car. As you can see, all the standard and optional equipment that comes with this vehicle. So standard price is listed at $42,650. With all the optional equipment added, it comes up to be at $56,610. And you can pause the video and take a closer look if you like. Up front, the first thing you'll notice is the aggressively designed new front bumper, as well as the stylish and unique front headlamp. And of course, it could not be unique without the strikingly designed LED daytime running light, as well as the LED turn signal light. At the bottom is the shiny black air dam that helps direct air into the engine compartment. Park assist are also integrated into the front bumper. In the middle is the beautiful diamond grille design with the huge Mercedes-Benz logo in the middle. And a closer look at the grille. Front ends are very sporty looking. Intermittent windshield wipers with adjustable speed are also a standard feature on this model. I love the front end. Now moving to the side, you see that this particular model comes upgraded with 18 inch AMG monoblock wheels with 225-45 all season tires. Behind the wheel is the set of ventilated cross drill brake discs as well as the huge brake caliber for faster stopping. Silver painted brake caliber with Mercedes-Benz lettering on it comes standard on this vehicle. And here's the shiny black uh, side view mirror with LED turn signal indicator. And there's a look at the side seals. On top is the huge panoramic sunroof that covers roughly the entire roof. Rear wheels are stacked in width with 245-40 tires. Behind the wheel is a set of internally ventilated brake discs and the silver painted brake caliber. It also comes with anti-lock braking system, brake assist, adaptive braking technology, as well as three-stage electronic stability program. Now moving to the back, you see the new distinctive LED tail lamps that are equally attention getting with fast acting LED brake light as well as LED turn signal light. LED tail light with fiber optic effect will catch as many attention as you sped away. At the bottom is the shiny black rear diffuser that frame the dual chrome tip exhaust. Park assist and rear deflector are also integrated into the rear bumper.
And there you can see the rear view camera. It is located behind the Mercedes-Benz logo and will automatically retract once the vehicle is in reverse, like such. And there you have the uh, ducktail rear spoiler and the third LED brake light on top. Okay, so here I have the remote. On the remote, I have the uh, panic lock, unlock, as well as trunk release button. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. So the car does come equipped with smart access key system. With the key in your pocket, just press the button located on the door handle once to lock. And as you can see, side mirror will automatically fold when the vehicle is locked. After a few seconds, put your hand behind the door handle to unlock. Side view mirror will automatically unfold when the vehicle is unlocked. The exterior color is known as the Zigno Diamond White Metallic, featuring cranberry red leather interior with silver aluminum trims as well as premium wood trims all around. Very sporty looking interior. I love that red leather interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So with your foot on the brake, just push the start button to start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2017 C300 have to offer. Under the hood is a 2 liter inline 4 turbo engine, rear wheel drive with equal start and stop system, 7G Tronic automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifter, it is pushing out 241 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. It can hit from 0 to 60 in just 5.9 seconds according to Mercedes-Benz. Top speed is electronically limited at 130 mile per hour in the U.S. EPA estimated fuel economy is 23 city, 26 highway, and 30 combined. Very impressive engine. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a look at the driver's side door panel. It is all black with red insert in the middle and white contrast stitching as well as silver aluminum trim. That's the Burmester surround sound speaker. Multi seat adjustment with three position memory seating. Heated and ventilated seat. Both windows are fully automatic. And there you have the side view mirror control and it does feature folded option. Door lock and unlock, and there's the trunk release button, door storage compartment, Mercedes-Benz aluminum door seal, and there you have the sport pedal, AMG floor mat, and here's a closer look at the seat, very nice looking seat. Once again, I love that red leather upholstery material. It looks so nice and sporty. Now both front seats feature multi-adjustable power front seat, including 4-way power lumbar support with memory. A memory system for each front seat recall 3-star position for the seat, steering wheel, as well as outside mirror. And there you have the uh, retractable seat belt. This is one very cool and convenient feature. The three-spoke flat bottom design stained wall is fully wrapped in black leather with perforated side grip and silver accenting trims in the middle. 
looks and feels very sporty. It also features multi-function control side by side for your convenience, with control for audio, voice command, as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Behind the steering wheel, you also have the up and down paddle shifter, so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride. Behind the paddle shifter on the left, you have the uh, windshield wiper controlled, as well as turn signal light controlled. And here you have the gear shift lever. Just push it up for reverse. Once you're in reverse, a uh, rear view camera will automatically appear on the multimeter screen with guidance line. And it will also move as you turn the wheel to help with a much easier backup. And you can also change to a different angle of the camera. which is very nice and slightly down for neutral down again for drive and that's when you can use the uh, steering wheel mounted paddle shifter to change gear and press the P for park very easy and simple to use down here you have the uh, cruise control and the power tilt and telescopic steering column. And here is a closer look at the instrument cluster with a large screen in the middle that shows important information directly in front of the driver. There you have trip, navigation, radio, media, telephone, assistant, graphics, service, and settings. Inside setting you have driver assist, light, instrument cluster, factory setting, and you can control it via the button located on the steering wheel. There you have the circular air vent with the knob in the middle to close and open the vent. There's the park assist on and off and the non-functional button looking like there. Rear fog lights, light controlled and the interior lightning controlled. There you have the parking brake. And a closer look at the dash with white contrast stitching all around. Now this particular model comes with the optional Burmester high-end surround sound system that's specifically engineered for the C300. This premium digital sound system fills the cabin with 590 watts of beautifully balanced audio for both you and your passengers. Now located centrally on the dash you have the large multimedia screen mounted on the dash and the three circular air vents with our silver aluminum trims on the dash as well. Very nice looking. There you have the climate controlled and the menu button in the middle. There you have navigation, radio, media, and the uh, circular analog clock, telephone, settings, and emergency has a light. Here you have beautiful wood trims, two cup holders, storage compartment there, ashtray, and a cigarette lighter. And this is the uh, controller to the infotainment system. You can turn the knob around to move around screen, press it down to select or move it up right down or left. And there you have the return and favorite button. Here's the dynamic switch. You can control from uh, individual, sport plus, sport, and comfort mode as well as eco. There's the uh, vehicle rising button, suspension setting, auto start on and off volume controlled and the uh, multimedia on and off and there you also have the uh, retractable belt button so you can have it retract or get closer to you anytime if you want and there you can uh, swipe on the uh, middle section right there and on the screen you have navigation the system are very responsive as you can see it is very smooth. There you have radio. Let's see how the uh, sound system uh, sounds like. Very nice sound quality. Now on the menu you also have media, phone, vehicle, uh, temperature, on and off. Detect, medium, track, sound, apps, phone book, nudes, all kind of different uh, functions. Inside vehicle you have uh, 
all your vehicle settings your dynamic select consumption operator manual time vehicle settings all right let's go into vehicle settings and see what we have inside there you have the acoustic lock belt control locator lightning all kind of interior light exterior light trunk opening and I love that uh, little animation right there All right, there is your system setting. Inside you have your favorite function, display language, voice control, text, review, camera, touchpad, Wi-Fi, and all kind of different setting. That's your time, your display off button. Here's the center storage compartment. Inside you have two USB plug. Here's the uh, glove box compartment. Inside you have the trunk lock. And a look at the seat once again. Very nice upholstery material. All right, now on top you have the light control. The SOS button to use in case of an uh, emergency. Sunglasses holder. And you have the one touch open and close uh, sunshade as well as the panoramic sunroof. It can be tilted up for ventilation or slide open for an open air feeling. And this is how it looks from the outside. Very nice feature in my opinion. One touch close. And there you have the three button universal garage door opener. Sun visor mirror with a card holder. All right, now to fold down the rear seat, just pull that lever and it'll slide up automatically for easier access to the rear seat. Rear seat offer seating for two, as you can see. All right, now let's jump into the rear seat and see how it is in the back. So getting in and out is very easy for me. I'm 5'8", and this is the look to the front cabin. And the look to the top. Down here you have dual circular air vent. So I'm 5'8", and I still have a little bit of leg room left. As you can see, I can still move my leg around. Head room is not a problem for me as well. Very nice uh, speaker system in the back as well. There you have the light control. A hook and more storage compartment there. We are sitting are very comfortable. It is very well padded and offer plenty of support. And here's the look to the back. And there you have two cup holders. Circular air vent once again. There's another hook on top. So to get out, just pull that lever and push the seat up and it'll slide up automatically once again. All right, now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer. And as you can see, once you get out, the uh, seat will automatically get back to its original position. So the trunk in the C300 offer 10.5 cubic feet of cargo space. But keep in mind that you can fold down all the rear seat if you need to fold it down for more cargo space. Let's see what we have down here. Alright, down here you have a more storage compartment and a hook, a lever to pull down both rear seat. On the trunk you have the uh, one touch close and the lock button as well as the manual release trunk button. And this is how it looks with the uh, auto seat folded. So you can put longer items through the trunk. One touch close. Very nice. And the gas cap is located on the passenger side. Just push it in to unlock. Now it does require premium unleaded fuel only. 
and holds approximately 17.4 gallons of fuel. Overall, the new 2017 C300 Coupe is a compact luxury vehicle offering seating for four passengers. Rear seating are not too spacious, but if you are under 5 feet 8, you should be perfectly fine sitting in the back. The front cabin, however, are very modern looking with very nice upholstery material and nicely aluminum trims and wood trims throughout. Now let's jump into the front passenger seat and see how it is in the front. Very nice and comfortable. Very spacious as well. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the new 2017 Mercedes-Benz C300 Coupe. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you guys like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video of cars. And as always, I'm going to take it out for a short test drive. Just to show you guys how it's like sitting in the uh, driver's seat. So first drive impression is that this particular C300 are very smooth. Now it does have plenty of power, I mean at least that's the way it feels even for an inline 4 cylinder turbo engine. It feels really powerful compared to other vehicles in this class.